the beast is going to be very sad without me, Beauty thinks. But I want to stay with my family for a few more days. Then I'm going to go back to him. Beauty thinks about the beast. She misses him. Ten days later, Beauty dreams about the beast. In her dream, the beast is on the grass in the garden of the castle, and he's going to die. Beauty, whispers the beast, today is the tenth day, and you are not here. I can't live without you. I can't eat or drink. Beauty wakes up and thinks, The poor beast is going to die without me. I must go back to him. She takes the ring and puts it on a table near her bed. The beast is ugly, but he's very kind, she thinks. Why don't I marry him? I'm happy with him. My sisters have handsome, clever husbands, but they're not happy. Beauty falls asleep, and the next morning she wakes up at the beast's castle. Today I am going to wear a beautiful dress, Beauty thinks. At nine o'clock in the evening she goes to dinner and waits for the beast. But he doesn't come to see her. What's happening? Beauty thinks. Where's the beast? Why isn't he here? Beast! She cries. Beast! Where are you? Answer me! She opens the doors of all the rooms and looks everywhere in the castle, but she cannot find him. Suddenly she remembers her dream. She runs to the garden and sees the beast on the grass. Oh no! She cries. Is he dead? She listens to his heart and it is beating. Good, he's not dead, she thinks. She gets some cold water from the river and wets his face. The beast slowly opens his eyes. Beauty, he whispers. I'm dying, but I'm happy because you're here. No, beast, cries Beauty. Don't die. You must live and become my husband. I love you, and I can't live without you. Suddenly, all the lights of the castle and the garden turn on. There are beautiful fireworks in the sky. Beauty is surprised and looks at the castle. Then she turns round and looks at the beast. What a surprise! She sees a handsome young man. Thank you, Beauty, says the young man. The spell is broken. But where is the beast? asks Beauty. I am the beast, says the prince. I don't understand, says Beauty. Who are you? I'm a prince, and this is my castle, says the young man. Sometimes a bad witch puts a spell on a prince, and only true love can break the spell. Now I know your love is true. The prince takes her hand and says, do you want to marry me, Beauty? 
Beauty looks at the handsome prince and says, "Yes, I do." Beauty and the prince go to the castle. When she opens the door, she is surprised. My family, you're all here! cries Beauty. She is happy when she sees her family. They talk and laugh together. Suddenly, she sees the good fairy from her dream. Beauty says, "The good fairy, you've got a kind heart." And you're going to marry the prince and become a princess. Then the good fairy looks at Beauty's two sisters. You're both bad, lazy, and unkind, says the fairy. You don't love anyone. The fairy says some magic words. And suddenly, Rosalind and Hortensia become statues. Oh no! cries Beauty. My sisters are statues. Your sisters have got hearts of stone, says the fairy. Now they can't move, but they can see and hear everything. When they understand their mistakes. They can become Rosalind and Hortensia again. The next day, Beauty and the Prince get married. Everyone dances and sings in the castle. It is a happy day. People give flowers to Beauty and the Prince. The Prince sees tears in Beauty's eyes and says. Don't cry, my beauty. We're going to be very happy together.